Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Andy or WWWWario and thank you so much for stopping by in this video. We're going to play Five Nights at Freddy's. A little Halloween special even though Halloween was yesterday, but that won't stop us. We are going to play Five Nights at Freddy's. It's a pretty popular game nowadays and it is surprisingly um, big or, you know, all the big YouTubers have played the game. Like, there's been um, kids react or teens react to Five Nights at Freddy's or something. So the game is pretty popular nowadays, and I thought uh, for Halloween let's just play this game. I've played it before and it is actually very very good. So here we are in our office, um, and surprisingly this game is uh, apparently made with the same software that I am used to play, or I use to make my own games. So it's pretty cool to think about that Finance at Freddy's can be made with the software I use as well. So actually uh, yesterday, uh, let's just mute this call. We heard it before, we don't need to hear it again. Yesterday I played around with the software I'm using to try to make a horror game or start on a horror game and I think it turns out to be good, or not good, but I think it's working. So I'll share a few pictures on, pictures on Twitter now and then, so give a little sneak peek and if I'm going to finish this game. But anyways, Five Nights at Freddy's is all about saving power. So this is basically us sitting in the office, we're going to sit here for five nights for some reason. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. We are going to watch over these, uh, uh, what are they called? I can't remember the name, but I'm just call, call, going to call them dolls. We're going to watch over these dolls to make sure that nothing uh, unnatural will happen. So basically this uh, game consists of four or technically five dolls. This being Bunny, you see here. Bunny, I think it's called Bunny. It's Chica, Freddy, then we have Foxy who's hiding in here, and then there's also a fifth one called We've gotten the community name gold called uh, Golden Freddy. It's basically just a little Easter egg, or uh, it only happens on rare occasions. So we are most likely not going to encounter Golden Freddy, but if we do, we are pretty much screwed. So, anyways, we use power, or we consume power by looking at the cameras, and we consume power by closing the doors and use light. So we have to try to do that as um, little as possible. So we're going to see how far we can get in this game. Uh, I've gotten to night three, I think, three or four, before my that's my record. And um, yeah, that's basically it. Basically, uh, these guys are here now, and eventually they will start to move. And on night one, that uh, on night one, basically, it's pretty easy, and only Bunny, I think, will move on night one. So it's pretty simple on night one, and uh, I think Chica can move as well on night one. I'm not sure. sure. But here we'll start to move on night 2 and onwards. So we're pretty much safe now, we're at 1am, we're going to sit here to 6am. So we will sit in here for at least one hour. So we are pretty much good to go, we have about 80% left of power. And um, Foxy, yeah, Foxy here, he's hiding behind this cabinet or this um, box or whatever. He will come out eventually if we look at the camera too, or if we look at that location too much or too little. So, you know, we need to look at that uh, location on a regular basis, basically, to prevent Foxy from coming out. But I think uh, Foxy won't come out really on night one. So, as you can see, we are pretty much good to go here. The only one camera that can't be, like, seen is this one, the kitchen. You can see audio only. So, okay, I think I'm gonna try to save a bit of power here. We have only 75% left. I don't know that's really good for night one, but uh, yeah, that's basically it. So as I was saying on a comment on, I think it was some video of Markiplier uh, playing this game. He's a great YouTuber, by the way. Uh, I think he was playing this game. Okay, all of them are still here. He was playing this game and I posted a comment in the comments saying, How awesome would it be to play this game in 4D? And then I... You know, I the whole discussion started with like uh, four dimensions don't don't exist and whatever. Uh, but anyways, what I mean by 4D is that it isn't 3D, so you can like see it is like three dimensional. But also, you will like uh, feel like air, like uh, like for example a breeze or something from this fan here. Uh, maybe you like uh, a smell, like an old office, like having these smells and 3D audio and everything. That would be a heck of an experience, so that would be pretty cool to uh, to really see. So, uh, but I don't know if this really I don't know if this like is possible to make 3D games with multimedia fusion 2, or 
in this case called Click Team Fusion 2. I think that's the software this game is made with. And it's, that's basically very similar to the software I'm using. That's pretty cool, as I said. So yeah, uh, based, yeah, we are nothing really much is happening here. Oh, oh, shit, so both of them are gone. And this is pretty cool, because you see Freddy here, he's looking right at me, uh, correct? And that is, I think that is pretty rare, like the dolls are looking straight at you, I think that is pretty rare, so that won't happen, happen very occasionally, so that's pretty cool. So let's see, okay, there's Chica, and, uh, oh god, okay, Bunny's there, okay, we are kind of safe, but uh, this is the few times I've experienced Chica moving on uh, night one, so that's pretty cool. Foxy is still in there, and Freddy is still here. Now you can see he's looking away. So the dolls looking at you at the camera and in the first room, that is pretty rare, I think. So it's pretty cool to experience that. But this is now this is where the scary part starts to happen with the dolls starting to move. And uh, also, do you can see these posters here? Oh, oh god, Chica is approaching. <sighs> where's Bunny? Uh, where's Bunny? Where's Bunny? Is this that? Now he's not. Oh god, oh god, where is it? Ah, uh, close the door, close the door, bad. <laughs> Where's Tika? Okay, it's there, okay, we're safe, we're safe, guys. <sighs> we're at 4 a.m., we have over 50% power left, so I think we're good to go. If you close both these doors like this, you're pretty much guaranteed safe, I think. But of course, I will consume a lot of power. You can see the usage down here. Uh, okay, uh, is he gone? No, he's still there, he's still there, you can see his shadow. <sighs> Bunny. Bunny. I think Bunny is like the least um, threatening doll because he like he moves a lot and he isn't really that dangerous. And Freddy here, oh, he's looking at the camera again. <gasps> so Freddy here, he is actually pretty interesting because he will not move at all. I think on night one or two, like he will, or he will only move on the later nights. And the thing with Freddy is that he will hide in the darker parts of the room, so we can only see his eyes glowing. So he, if he is gone from like the first room here, then you really need to keep an eye, or really keep noticing if you see any glowing eyes in the, in the rooms to see where he is at. Because Freddy is a sneaky bastard. Okay, Chica. Oh shit! <sighs> and look at that face. Chica is the scariest doll, I think. I, I mean, uh, Bunny isn't that scary. He, he has like a little derpy look, I think. And Foxy, he uh, he's creepy because he he's actually the one doll that will actually move on camera, like yeah, you can see him move on the camera. And uh, Freddy, oh uh, yeah, he's he's like sneaky and stuff, so he's not really that scary. But Chica, look at that, look at that face. It really looks like a serial murderer. Okay, we are at 5 a.m., so I think we're good to go on that one. Ah, uh, this isn't look looking too good, guys. We are already nearly out of power on night one. That's not looking too good, is it? Okay, but uh, we are soon at uh, night uh, two, so that's pretty good. Freddy's still there, Bunny's there, and Chica is still there. Yeah. So I think we can just sit back and relax, maybe just close this door as well, because we have pretty much completed night one now. Uh, I hope, so I don't run out of power and lose this game on this. You can see the, the yellow bar here. Okay, Chica's moved, that's good. So you can see if I close both doors now and put up the camera, you can see it consume a lot of power. So we need to be careful by doing that. Let's take a look at where the dolls are. Okay, Bunny's in the hallway, Chica is... Ah! Okay, 6 a.m. We have completed night one, guys, and uh, that makes me only a bit more afraid because night two is going to be even more dangerous. Second night, 12 a.m. Let's go. Whew. 